In order to survive and thrive, I've had to be different things at different parts of my career. And like so many of us, I've lived by learning and adapting and changing, um, in other words, leading an episodic career. I recently published a book called The Episodic Career, How to Thrive at Work in the Age of Disruption. And the process of continual job changes and career reinvention means different things for different people. There's healthy disruptive innovation uh, that creates jobs in whole new fields. And then there are those people who find their jobs and their lives disrupted. I'm honored to be here in San Francisco with a deeply talented group of people uh, to drill down on the personal and practical ways that Americans are reinventing the notion of careers. And we'll also ask how to build healthy cities for both high income and low income workers and everybody in between. So going from my far right, we've got Justin Dangle. He's an entrepreneur investor and a keen observer of the intersection of jobs and politics. The Bostonian has launched several companies, most recently Goji, America's largest online auto and home insurance agency. Next to him is Kimberly Bryant, an electrical engineer and founder of Black Girls Code. Their mission is to introduce programming technology and in-demand skills to young women of color so they become tech innovators who design their own personal futures. Ben Casanoka is a technology entrepreneur and former chief of staff to LinkedIn CEO Reid Hoffman, and the two of them have co-authored just a couple of bestsellers. Mm -hmm. The Alliance, Managing Talent in the Networked Age and the Startup of You, Adapt to the Future, Invest in Yourself, and Transform Your Career, which I personally recommend to all the millennials in my life as well as people who are older than 30. Um, <laughs> thank you all for joining me tonight. So what we're going to talk about here is a couple of different things. One is the changing nature of careers in America. There used to be, for a time, this idea that careers were supposed to be like an escalator. You got on at the bottom, you went up, you gained seniority, you got off at the top, you got your gold watch, and you went off into a happy retirement. In fact, my grandparents used to collect Norman Rockwell plates and they didn't have this on a plate, but I found a Norman Rockwell print of something called Retirement Cruise, and it shows this happy couple, um, you know, seniors, kind of with a seagull floating by, and you know, this, this vision of not only uh, a, a life of good work, but a good life after you have finished working. And today, that is being troubled in many different ways. Um, the average lifespan of a job is 4.4 years now. And that is average for everyone. For millennials, it's far shorter. The upside for the millennials is that they realize <laughs> that they're going to be you know, changing jobs kind of the way people used to change their wardrobes. But for a lot of people, the <coughs> constant demand of change has proved to be disconcerting, and the reality also is that the average length of unemployment for people who are 50 plus is a year, 53 weeks. So when you're younger, if you go through a period of unemployment, you can recover more quickly, and as you get older and you have more seniority, you also are at risk of having longer unemployment right at the time when you're trying to finish saving money for retirement. So all of these things are setting the backdrop for the conversation we're gonna to have tonight about how technology is shaping the future and also you know, how do we build cities that are functional